because of who you are i give you glory because of who you are i give you praise because of who you are i will lift my voice and say lord i worship you because of who you are jehovah jireh you're my provider, Jehovah Nisi. Lord, you reign in victory, Jehovah Shalom. You're my Prince of Peace, yeah. Oh, and I worship you because of who you are yeah lord i worship you because of who you are jesus lord i worship you because of who you are father we thank you in the name of jesus that we can come in your presence. Your presence, God. Thank you for helping us to come into your presence. Giving us lead. Giving us audience. Giving us the right, the okay, the welcome. Come in your presence. Making it so that we could come in your presence. Great King. Master. Lord. And God. And our Father. Thank you, Lord, today. Bless this day. Bless everything about this day, everything that we have to do this day. Make it come to pass to the glory of God. Give God the glory. Give God all the praise. And may we just be the benefactor of you getting all the praise and the glory and we just basking in it, enjoying it. Thank you for your protection. You keep keeping us, your wisdom, your understanding, your mercy, your joy you're watching over us you you knowing everything that we can't see helping us with what we see and don't understand and helping us when we understand and just don't ain't been acting didn't act the mind have the mind to act right but you give us the right mind you put us the mind of christ in us and make us perform according to your will to your plan to your purpose thank you lord blessings and might and power dominion forever and ever be to you on everyone that listened to this, everyone participated in, everyone that believed, everyone that loved the name of Jesus, them that don't even care, Lord, touch them. Them that seem to be distant, seem that they turn in their face. You, your power is able to convince people. You're able to change us. You're able to make us. You're able to reach out and touch. You're able to bring uh, wisdom, impartation, revelation, so that they can see through the darkness, broken from the chain, broken from the captivity. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we'll be mindful to give you the praise, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of your Lord, our Lord, and your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Bless this message. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today, beloved. This is Apostle Samuel Hendrick, Full Gospel Word of Faith Church. Come to you this April the 24th, 2022 of our Lord. It's a blessed day we come. We're going to go into the book of Ephesians and go back there so we can uh, get some finishing up of some things. We may not finish today, but we're going to start uh, in our area to, to finish. But in our finishing, we're going to glean from this. And so we ask your heart to be open, your mind and spirit to be so on this YouTube. Ask you to like this YouTube and be abreast of all the upcoming uploads and support us. Let us know you care. Let us know it's something to you. It means something to you. When, you. when you share, when you partner with us, that's where your blessing come in. You partner with someone that's being a blessing, that's feeding you, that's encouraging you, that's giving you insight, some light, uh, and breaking chains, fetters, 
things that's in your way, things that's hindering you. Uh, when you, when you, when you uh, come in a situation that may not be right, God is able to make it right. <clears throat> so look up, lift up your head, oh beloveds. Lift your heads up and be blessed. Lift your heads up and be encouraged today. God loves you and he cares greatly for you. Apostle cares for you. Amen. And Jesus is Lord. He's Lord over everything. When it don't seem right, he's Lord still. When you got the victory and it seems like everything can't go wrong, he's Lord. So give him the praise and the glory. Bless his name. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't shy away from your opportunity to walk in faith. Walk in faith, give God the glory, and reap the benefit. Amen. In the book of Ephesians, the third chapter, I'm going to start at the ninth verse because I know I believe we started, we went through that about the knowledge and understanding of being partakers with God. But the third chapter, the ninth verse says, and... Uh, and make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. What mystery? Which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. What was the mystery? The mystery, the fellowship that God had for us that we obtain through Jesus. Jesus is the mystery that was hidden. He is the he is the 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 the, the binding, the connection, the uniting and the union with God. He's the reconnecting, he's the bridge, he's the door. The mystery, Christ in us, the hope of glory. God was God was working in the Lord Jesus to put us in God, to put us back with God. But Jesus had to be that catalyst. He had to be that vessel to get us back to God. We couldn't do it on good works because none of us had anything good enough to do it. We couldn't come to God because we was unholy. Sin made defiled us. But Jesus, who was the sinless one who died for us, became sin for us who knew no sin, that we could become the righteousness of God in Christ. How about that? And he's not holding past sins because he, he, he forgave them in Christ and you acknowledge Christ so you were clear, your record was clean. It's like starting over and never, nothing never had happened. And God in you, in Christ, that's how God get in you. He gets in you through Christ. He wanted to be in. He said, I will, in the book of Isaiah, I will walk in them and I will talk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. God wants union, fellowship, and oneness. He wants us to be one with him. He wants us to know the fellowship, the, the connection and the familyship, the workings of being a part and knowing God personally for ourselves. Mm -hmm not the deity somewhere that we worship, that we have no connection to, we can't feel, we can't see, we can't understand. God says, and all you're getting, get understanding. God wants you to understand him. He wants you to understand his ways. He said, know him. I'm trying to teach so we can get through, but y'all got preaching up in me. Know him. You can't know him apart from Jesus. You can't know him and you can't know Jesus apart from the scriptures. The scriptures reveal Jesus and Jesus revealed the Father. The Holy Ghost is the one who's significant. He signifies. He makes it alive. He makes it so. He makes it real. It is real, but it, if you don't know, you don't understand it, then you can't see it. It ain't real to you. It's not real when you don't know it or you can't see it. Someone tells you something and you don't get the concept of the thing and you they talk to you and you're looking at them glass-eyed like they you out in space somewhere. You, they're telling you something 
and you're trying to figure it out, but everything's blank. But when light comes, that's Jesus. Revelation comes, that's Jesus. When understanding comes, that's Jesus. You see when you see and when you get the glimpse, sometimes the glimpse is just a little glimmer. It don't take much with God. If you give God a glimmer, give him a chance where a glimmer can touch you. That little glimmer, that gleam off the gleam, the gleam off the light. That, that does something to get an inroad into your understanding, into your spirit and help you see the living God. The living God is my father. He's not a tyrant waiting, waiting to kill you and get rid of you. He ain't trying to find your sin where he can judge you. Sin did that. Sin condemned us. Sin judged and condemned us. But sin didn't have a right to judge us because sin was not righteous. Only God is righteous. Only God is righteous. <laughs> you better leave me alone with this thing. I got to get through with this. Sin is the enemy to separate us from God. It's like somebody who know you have a good relationship with your family. And they say, if I could just get them away from their family, get them to come out here and do what I'm doing, or have curiosity of what I'm doing. What they say, curiosity kill the cat. Well, I don't want to be curious. I don't want to be killed. Come out here. Don't it don't show them nothing real bad altogether. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little arsenic at a time. Not a lot. Not enough to kill him. Enough, enough to make him sick so he can he he can get maybe seemingly inoculated to it. But he ain't inoculated. He's he's it's 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 getting in his system. It's doing damage, but it's doing it at a because it's not so much that he's getting. He's getting just enough to separate him, separate him from his family. It can put poison idea. Oh, your family, your family is just a drag. They just, all they do, they know what they doing. Ain't no excitement in their life. Y'all ain't, y'all not doing nothing. Ain't nothing about y'all. But come over here to the good side. What good side? If God ain't there, it ain't good. Whatever side that is. Get you to take a little at a time to just a lady was giving her husband uh, antifreeze. She's giving him a little bit at a time. And because antifreeze is poison, even the animals can't lick it. It's sweet tasting, but it'll kill you. It's, it, he mix it in with a drink, and at a little time, the husband got sicker and sicker and sicker, and then all of a sudden, he died. And when they fire checked his body and run a test, uh, uh, what they call it, autopsy and DNA and all like that, they found out he had antifreeze in it. Antifreeze for a car. Antifreeze is to go in and keep stuff out to stay, uh, so that it don't freeze. The water don't freeze. It can stay lubricant enough where it'll, it'll let your engine be protected. And it also will keep cool your engine down in a, in a heated situation. But that's for a machine. That ain't for a human being. That's not for the body. Well, same thing people do when they put, they try to inject iniquity. Well, iniquity is your own, your own desire for for doing contrary this, and we were born with that because of Adam. But sin and iniquity, they they cousin, they kissing cousins. They fellowship with one another. They look alike, and they they can look very dignified. That's why dignity dignity can't be disguised as holiness. Dignity. Some people try to hide. Uh, uh, put dignity out there and pretend like it's holiness. Holiness is humility to God. And, and then holiness sometimes may, make you do some stuff that God say do that your flesh and everybody else and your friends and populace don't like. They don't say, oh, well, I wouldn't do that. You ain't, who is you? You ain't me. Th this is what God told me to do. I, I can't see that. Well, he, he wasn't talking to you, wasn't revealing to you. See, the mystery was hidden in God that Jesus, Jesus is God's righteousness. He's God's connection for us back to God. 
It was hidden in God. God had it all along. God knew he was going to have to bring us back to him. So why didn't God prevent it? Because he told them. He told Adam and Eve, the day you eat, you're going to die. Since you didn't know what death was, that don't sound good. The, uh, what? what? Let, let me find out what that is. Then I'll know if I don't like it or not. Really? So warning ain't good enough. A, a word of caution is not suffice. I got to stick my hand in the fire to see if it'll harm my, harm my body. I got to jump off the ledge to see if I'm going to float or fall. Well, before you jump, throw something out. And if it don't float, it fall. Then that's, your, that's your sign. Don't you do it. Because you're heavier than whatever you throw off the, off the top. In fact, Benny, get off of there. If you ain't not getting ready to be raptured, get off of there. And when you get to be raptured, you're going to be changed so you can't, you can't stay on the ground. You have, you'll be caught up. The Bible says you'll be caught up. But to be caught up, you got to first be in the mystery. You got to know the mystery, the mystery that God has revealed in Jesus. That was God, Jesus in God. Jesus was in God, hidden, and God revealed his son. And our fellowship is with Jesus and with God. Our union, our connection, our familyhood, our personage is with God. That's who we identify with. Jesus identified with us through the suffering and in taking on sin. He took it on, but sin didn't have no place in him. It had no place in him. It, 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 that's why Jesus said, when the wicked one come, uh, uh, he'll find there ain't no room. There's nothing in me for him to be able to, to connect with. Iniquity was in man when disobedience, when sin happened, that, that lust, that desire, that, that, that uh, ego passion to do what I want to do is it. That's why you have a challenge. You have a good thought come and you have some contrary argumentative thought come and you say, I don't know. Maybe I ought not to. You had a good idea to go ahead and do it. Why you stop and listen to a second opinion, even if it's in your head? Or you think you're about to do something. This morning in Sunday school, we saw Noah. Noah was, built, Noah was doing what God said there. Well, nobody else helping him except his family. He has a family project. Build an ark. God said, I'm warning you, I'm finna destroy the earth. I'm gonna do it with water. But I want you to build an ark to preserve you and your family and all the animals that I won't preserve because I'm killing everything else. Because people are so wicked. They they destroy each other. They strong destroy themselves. They're so susceptible to that evil spirit that tell them uh, the compulsory doing something without thinking, without having a a, a, a ounce of a mercy feeling that, that, that that's not right. Having a no in your in yourself, no, that ain't uh uh, that ain't that don't taste good. That don't even sound good. That don't look good. Well, I got to do it. Why? Why? Because I don't feel good. Because I'm hurting. Well, you don't you don't. You don't destroy cause you're hurting. You go to where relief is. You go to to the you go to the healer. You go to the rescue rescuer. You call for help. Thank you for that three <coughs> amen that I got out there. Thank y'all, all three of y'all. Say amen. So it says here to make all men. So that means he wanted all men, but all men don't want him. All men see. Seeing with understanding, not just with your eyes, but with your heart. What is the fellowship of the mystery? Which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Jesus, the mystery that God did, and he, because he created everything. So he knows the pattern of what, how things are supposed to go, Jesus does. He's got the mind of God. He's God's mind. He's God's word. What, what God said, God don't have two sayings. He have one saying. 
what he said. He don't have two sayings. What do you mean two sayings? He don't have a, a this is what I want, and then this is what, 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 what I don't want. I mean, I want you to do what I want, because this is what I plan. The other thing is not my plan. It's outside of me, so it's against me. So that I'm not a part of that. So to be a part of that is to be separate from me, to be cut off from me. Listen, to the intent that now, what about now? The principalities, those are demon spirits and ruling power spirits, evil spirits. Now, that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places, that means in the atmosphere. See, there's a spirit where we walk in. There's another spirit that's above us. And then there's a third spirit that's above that spirit. And then that second spirit is where satanic spirits are. And they influence the minds of people. They come on the earth and influence people's mind. If you're not thinking about God and you're always thinking about hurt, they're always thinking about what somebody did to you, always think what happened to you, he, they play on that because they, that's their motivation to motivate you to do stuff away from God. Not call out on God and say, Lord, I need help. I need to think clearly. The Bible says, think, think this thought. Okay, read it. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Thank you. Thanks for telling me. Scriptures, Bible says, let Scripture prove Scripture. Here a little, there a little. Come on. Thank you for telling me that. <clears throat> In the book of uh, Philippians, you can stay where you are, but I'm going to Philippians 4. It says, finding my brethren, whatsoever thing is true, whatsoever thing is honest, whatsoever thing is just, that means right and equal, whatsoever thing is pure, nothing distorted but right and clean, whatsoever is lovely, Think on that. Whatsoever, whatsoever is of a good report, think on that. If there be any virtue, anything that life-giving, life-sustaining, life-blessing, life-encouraging, joy-enhancing, if there be anything, if there be there anything that bring forth to give praise to God, think on these things. He's telling you what to think of. Mm. Think that's what the, you said. Well, that, that that ain't what's coming to mind. Well, go wash your brain with the word. Tell that stuff get the other stuff get out of you. Wash it. You don't you don't go get a find a mud puddle to to wash your dirty clothes. You go to clean water and soap and rinse water and fabrics off and all the other things that they come up with to make the clothes be fresh. You don't go take a bath in mud and sludge, sludge to get clean. You go get clean water with soap to wash it off. So in your soul, your spirit have to be washed with the word, water the word, so you can have joy. Put some joy in there. Somebody say, oh, I don't want to be joyful. I don't want to be sad. You know, sad leads to depression. Depression leads to, to self Devagation, de ha ha hatred, self-murder, self-destruction. And God says, uh, what did he say? Look, tell me what he said. Okay, he said, finally, my brother, whatsoever thing is true, whatsoever thing is honest, whatsoever thing is just, whatsoever thing is pure, whatsoever thing is lovely, whatsoever thing is of a good report, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven with the virtue. Seven things. And all those things bring praise to God. Okay. Come to my job. Y'all don't, don't like me. That's all right. I'm, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. I, I'm good. I'm good not being liked. That's, that's hey, I, that's my calling. That's my calling. Not to, not to be liked. I ain't mad with you. But you'll get over it. You'll love me. If you love God, if you want what's right, if you want to breathe in and it smells good instead of smelling 
musty. See, uh, in the 70s, we use the word funky. That means stinky. Thank you for the three people that are testified to that. <laughs> Jeremiah 9 says, Jeremiah 9 and 4, I mean 24, says, God says, uh, but let him that glory, glory in this, that he understands. When you understand something, you got the concept of it. Then he says, and then he put a little three-letter word in in between understand, and then he said, knows me. When you understand, you can know because you've been familiarized and you've been uh, 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 aware of and you have a habit of under knowing what that person do and how they feel. And if they're honest with you, which God is honest, he'll tell you exactly what, he's, what is on his mind. If you got, if, if you of a mind to listen, if you're not of a mind to listen, no matter what he says, you ain't going to hear it. And he and, and everything you hear, you got to hear about faith, and faith works by love. Listen to what he said: that he understands and knows me, that I am. God is talking about Himself. He just told, told you His name. I am. I am the Lord which execute. I do this. I do loving kindness. I do judgment. Judgment means right. Right. He does right. What's just and right. Judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things. God says, I get happy. I delight. Go back to go back to Ephesians so we can get through. I'm about ready to wrap it up. I'm going to close the door on this thing. Why are you doing like this? Because I want you to, your mind to head toward Jesus. Your mind to head toward God. Your mind to be God-minded. Your mind to be word-minded. Your mind to be applied to you, God word to you-minded. So that you can think on those things and be happy and be pleased and be thankful that God is good to me. If I lost something, but I, if I know where it is, it ain't lost. I don't have it with me, but I'm still I'm still thankful that God gave me. And now I'm gonna enjoy what left that's, that I have right now. And in the in the, in the in the time coming, God gonna reward me for any act of obedience that I did. He, he you will not go uh, unrewarded. Now the world may may overlook you and use you and abuse you and not give you reward, but God will reward every act of obedience. Every He He said, I, I delight. Do you hear what I heard? God said, I delight. God said, I get happy. Have you ever been delighted in anything? Is anything make you happy? Did you ever get a mmm out of anything? God get a mmm. And then he also get a whoopee. They said, God don't get no whoopee. No, the part of him being excited when you delighted over something that makes a happy, joyful, upbeat attitude out of you. Ain't nothing worth being happy about. Nothing even worth living for. So God, so, so God had Jesus hidden and he's the mystery and he's revealed now. So what? Jesus said, according to your words, it's going to happen to you. If you speak with joy and ex 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 exuberance about God and give me thanks, I'm going to reward you for it. But if you in negativity continue to uh, complain and, and, and put down what I say, he said, you're going to be judged for it. And in that, God wants you to make judgments. He wants you to judge which is right to do. The Bible said, Sarah judged God faithful. What you mean she judged? She can't judge God. She did. The Bible says she did. But word don't lie on itself. It tells the truth. He says, she judged God faithful. What you mean she judged God faithful? Because she saw that God was faithful to give her a child. He even gave her a word told her husband, who was the prophet, who was God's man, who the, the wife was following at that time, but, but, but didn't quite see it like Abraham, 
But God gave her a word to tell her prophet, man of God, who obeyed God, who was God's friend, say, listen to your wife. Listen to her. Do what she say. But that, that boy she had is mine. That's my baby. That's my child. He's my firstborn. God said, listen to your wife. Even if she made the mistake of encouraging you to do this and talk you into it, she realized now it's a mistake. God didn't wash his hands of Abraham and Sarah and say, I'm going to find somebody else. He said, uh-uh, this ain't unfixable. I got this. Ha-ha! <laughs> Christ is still hidden in this thing because this man here going to act like Christ and offer his son up so I can offer Christ up for y'all so y'all can come back to me. He's my pattern. I don't better leave this thing alone. Y'all better stop me. Y'all better stop me. Principality of the power in heavenly places might, might be made known to the church. The manifold that many, many sided and multiplicity of the wisdom of God. God's wisdom is so vast that you, unless he reveal it to you, you won't get it. Hey, and the devil never gets it. Because the power of God overrules him and the wisdom of God uh, confounds him. According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. He purposed that in Jesus. Oh, Lord, I see things I can say, but I came, my time got to go. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him whereof I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you. Tribulation, I had trouble. I was persecuted. Because they didn't want me to tell you this, but I got to tell you, which is in your glory. You glorified, but I'm in trouble. But that's all right. For this cause, I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant unto you the according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith, that you being rooted, 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 and grounded in love, love, the love of God, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which pass knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask according to the power that works in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. God bless my friends. Save, heal, deliver. That don't know Jesus, say Jesus come in the heart. Make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. I believe you died for me and you rose again. I accept you as my Savior. Be my Lord. And then give me the gift of the Holy Ghost and lead me and guide me and direct my life. And bless this preacher that's ministering to me in the name of Jesus. God bless you until I meet you again. Apostle Samuel Henry said, be blessed. Remember the mystery. Jesus in you, the hope of glory. Bye-bye.